uh, long ago we made the decision in this country that private companies would build and that they would own our key transportation, communications, and energy networks. That was and still is a good decision. Given the opportunity to earn a reasonable profit on their investment, private companies build our railroads, um, our wireline telephone network, our aviation system, our pipelines, and so many other physical assets that we have that were built by private corporations, private money, and are owned by them. But this isn't just our past, it's our future too. With the um, encouragement and support of federal, state, and local governments, private companies are hard at work today building the broadband network that will be the key to our country's success in uh, the 21st century. What we have always asked these companies for in return is that they serve not just the interests of their shareholders, but also the broader general interests of the country, however one wants to define that. As those of us who serve on the Commerce Committee know well, uh, getting big things done in this country uh, and in this body is slow. It's very slow and it always takes on really big stuff, the private sector and the public sector working together. It just has to be that way. That's the kind of partnership we will need to address the grave new threat that our country uh, faces today, which is cyber attacks, which four years ago was treated lightly and today is still treated too lightly in my judgment, but is the number one national security threat that the country faces. Uh, back in 2009, when I started working on this issue with Senator Olympia Snow, cybersecurity was just an exotic idea. To some, it still is just that or it's an idea to push aside and take up later, but it is not. Almost every day we read about another company, another government agency that's been electronically attacked by adversaries, trying to cause economic damage or searching for sensitive information and getting it. It's not a threat that we can address through a traditional military response, of course, and it's not a threat that an individual companies can handle through their normal risk mitigation uh, practices. It's a threat that challenges our our traditional notion of the public and, and private spheres. That's what makes it interesting. A cyber attack against a government agency or a defense contractor is an at attack against our nation. An attack against, a cyber attack against a private company uh, dealing with, say, a water company is an attack against our nation. Um, so is it with an attack on a private company that provides power or clean water to millions of Americans, an attack against any of these pieces, even though they might be privately operated, is, is an attack against our nation's critical infrastructure, and therefore us as a nation. Since I've been working on this issue, I've had a lot of good and productive sessions with uh, uh, the private sector. But you know what, we also wasted an awful lot of time by turning an urgent national security issue into a partisan political fight. How one does that on the number one national security threat, I don't know, but somehow we've managed to do it. Back in 2010, we passed in the Commerce Committee um, a cyber bill. We did it unanimously. And we did that because we didn't have any vote. Everybody just agreed. And it zipped right through, however, we couldn't get enough votes in 2012 uh, to start debate even on this issue on the Senate floor, even though the, the whole military and intelligence establishment was going crazy at our um, lack of movement. The Obama administration got tired of waiting for us. I can't blame them. This is a problem that's growing worse every day. So February 12th of this year, the president released an executive order that takes some very important steps, not enough because he can't create the law that's necessary for some things. Uh, but they worked very hard to make this executive order a welcoming invitation to the private sector to work together on this problem. It seeks to formalize and to strengthen the working relationships many companies already have with our cybersecurity experts in the federal government. So um, the executive order, starting a process with NIST. Can NIST be helpful? I think this can be helpful. Uh, some others don't think so because it's called a government agency. Uh, we're going to hear more about the executive order from our witnesses. The senators sitting in this dais today understand what an urgent issue this is. We all want to do something. We want to come together. Uh, we want to be ruled by our common sense, not by 
other interests. Uh, so we have our work cut out.